Hello to all my lively ladies. You're very welcome to today's low impact walking workout using light weights. All right, let's get warmed up first before we begin. Step touch and reaching those arms out to the side. Now you can do this workout body weight if you want to, but the option is there if you want to increase the intensity, just use a light pair of dumbbells. Don't go too heavy. Now we've 11 exercises, repeat it twice. So making our workout 22 minutes and we'll also include that warm up and we'll have a cool down at the end. Okay, let's go forward and back. So lots of fun moves today. Lots of stepping exercises. I know our sequence is 30 seconds to walk it and 30 seconds to do our full body exercise. Let's change this up, four and three, two, and let's do some high knees. Keep that back nice and straight. Now, if your weights are quite light and you do enjoy doing little jogs or jump ropes during the walking intervals, you can do that. It's quite safe if your weights are light. You can monitor it yourself and see how you're feeling. Nice straight spine, abs are pulled in, feeling a bit of tension around the middle of the body. Let's do some shoulder presses. Keep the legs doing the same thing. Reach, pull down. That's it, pull it right down like you're pulling something heavy down from the ceiling. Let's do four and three, two, Last one, heel dig, crisscross the arms in front. Now really pull the hands back there behind you so that you open up that chest, a nice stretch for your upper torso. So can you go down lower and work your way up? You can go over your head if you want to and down in front of your body. You can keep them up over your head. If you find that's a little hard on the back or bring the heart rate up too fast, bring them back down. That's it, 10 seconds and we'll switch it up. Four, three, two, and one. Now rainbow legs, open up those hips for me. Good, and open. Try and keep the hips square and facing the front. If you have to slow down to do that, take your time with this one. Two more, last one. Two feet together, a little side step. We'll introduce some side or lateral moves to the body a little bit into the groin deeper you can go down a little deeper go for that if not keep the range of movement small good now we'll reach down that'll increase your range of movement down and down pull back like you're doing a back row and we'll hit those back muscles Pull back. Now we'll do one more this side. Okay, circle the arms. Keep the feet going. Nice little stationary walks there. Watch anything above your head. Big circles. Other way. Keep breathing throughout each move. That's it, nice and big, feeling the shoulders getting nice and loose and ready. Two more and last one. Okay, let's get going. So we're starting off with our walk. I'll show you what's coming up during that walk, so keep an eye on me. Right, use your weights like I say. You don't have to, it's completely optional. Okay, let's march it out, pump those arms by your side. Now you keep going with that. Our first move is side step, nice big full body move, arm over the head. So don't go too heavy. 
Okay, let your, don't let your body become overwhelmed with what weight you're using. Right, knees up, come on. You can feel that, that little bit more intensity with the weights in the hand, with the marches. Okay, let's sidestep it. And lift up over your head. If this is too hard, turn it into a miniature shoulder press. That will work as well. You work on those shoulders. Just the higher you go above the head, the more you're gonna get that heart rate up. Lift it up. Remember, it's just 30 seconds now. Short intervals today. Excellent work. Okay, back to a nice little march. Next one now, we're gonna X the legs behind, modified curtsy lunge, and then two pendulum, okay? Now, if you can, if your weights are light, you can take this up into a light little jog. Nothing too heavy. Come on, keep those arms bumping by your side. That's it, good work. Okay, X and X. Pendulum, that's it. Step behind, step behind, and lift and lift. Lift it and lift it. Good work. Squeeze and squeeze. So we're getting a lateral raise in there with those pendulums. Well done. You can jump rope if you want to. If your weights are light enough, you work the here. Now we have a little high knee bicep curl next. So high knees and then bicep curl. Okay. So the knee comes up, we'll curl the weights. Let's get the heart rate up. Great to get a high heart rate. Really does help burn calories while we work out. Okay, knees up first. That's it, now add in that curl. Now we're gonna be nice and strict with our curl. Even though we're doing cardio, we'll keep strict form. Tuck the elbows into your rib cage and curl the weights up to your shoulders. Keep the back nice and straight, using your abdominals here, holding them tense. Just feel a little bit of tension around that belly button. Let's go back now to our skip, or march it out, fast walking or even steep inclining. Just walking up that steep hill. We'll get a few of those in today. Now our next move is a heel dig jump rope. So you're pressing your heel in and turning the rope, okay? That's coming up very soon. Just keep to a regular jump rope here. A few seconds, we'll head into the heel dig jump rope. Okay, gently pressing your heel in. That's it, good. And turn that rope. Round we go. Keep breathing throughout each move now. Gently press the heel. A few seconds left. We head back to whatever you're choosing to do here. A nice little jump rope. Nice fast speed. We can do that steep incline. This is a nice one with weights. I love this one with weights. It's great. We feel the biceps working. Right, our next move, you keep going there, is a lateral walk, cross through and weights out in front, and then a little shuffle back to the start, or you just lateral walk the whole thing and all the way back, okay? All right, let's go with that one. Oops, I got that one mixed up, I got it backwards. Let me get it right. Step across, and then scoot all the way back. Okay, I think I have it now. Step across. You can do whatever way you want yourself. And scoot all the way back. Step across. You can actually shuffle the whole thing if you want. Well done. Okay, round two. You can shuffle the whole thing if you want to. All right. Let's just do a little jump rope here. Now our next one is a jump jack. So we've got four here as combination exercise. 
and then legs do the same thing arms are just changing up into pec deck so four and four okay let's go one and two three four and a pec deck it legs do the same thing three and four change up the arms good and into pec deck for two three four good lift two three four and pec deck it excellent work come on let's get a few more feeding the arms burning here <laughs> well done okay little jump rope in between each move now our next one is running man so get those feet forward and back and those arms okay this is going to be a real arm burn for us the next one and then we'll do the other leg the following minute so just make make sure you know what leg is leading that's it Good. come on turn that rope work those arms and those shoulders all right let's go Drive those elbows back. That's it, come on. Keep going. Well done. Push through it. Keep that slight bend in that supporting leg. Look forward. This is a tough one. You can feel that stationary leg and those upper body muscles working hard. Okay, I'll do a nice deep incline up the hill here. Come on, drive those arms up. Now I started with my right leg for running man. I'm gonna to change to left leg now for the next move after the beep. Getting the heart rate up here with all these moves combined. That's good, that's what we want. Get the heart rate up, but not so high where you're gasping for air. Okay. Let's go, other leg. One leg always feels a little bit wonky compared to the other. Push through now with those elbows. Come on. Forward and back. Slight lean at the waist here. Not overly leaning. Look forward. Find a nice spot to stare at. Come on. We can do it. Well done. Okay. That was tough. Skip rope it jump rope it or skip it out now we have a step touch crisscross the arms now watch this one don't bump the weights off each other you have to really focus on what those arms are doing okay knees up come on okay let's step touch it first now arms Eye high, out nice and high to the side. You work those shoulders in a little bit into the back of the shoulder. Keeping that heart rate up. Good. Come on, we can do it. Feeling those upper body muscles burning out a little bit. That's good. Excellent work, okay. Jump rope. Now our next move, we're going to step back for three and then switch your legs and keep the arms doing the same thing. Tricep pushbacks. And then we'll head back and we'll do it all over again. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, switch. Two. Three, good. Nice alternate, alternating move here for the legs. Two, three, come on. Feel those triceps working behind you there. Switch legs for three. Good. And we might get one more. Excellent work, okay. Right, okay. Keep going. Oh, I know we've got one more move, sorry. We have our sidestep, lateral raise, bicep curl. I knew I was leaving one out. That's next, okay. Let's walk it out. 
Gotta get those biceps in again. All right, we did triceps, back to biceps. Okay, let's go. Side step, lateral raise, bicep curl. Just keep the legs doing the same thing. Lift up and up. Lift it up. That's it, squeeze out those shoulders. Bring those dumbbells up to your shoulders for your biceps. Lift it and lift it. Don't swing the weights, be very exact with each move there for the shoulders and the biceps. Now we are going back to exercise one. So we'll get the little walks in. You can walk this here, march it back to marching. And it's our side step, overhead reach. Shoulder press, if that's too challenging for 30 seconds. That's it, good work. Body's nice and warm now. We're ready for round two, we know what's coming up. Remember little shoulder press here, little partial reps. If you're struggling a little bit, pay attention to how your back is feeling with this over, overhead move. Good work, come on. We're nearly there. Stay with me now. It's the last few seconds. And you made it through, well done. Okay. All right, let's jump rope it here. X the legs behind for two and two pendulum. It's the second move. Big breaths in and breathe it all out. All right, get ready now for Xing the legs. Okay, so X, X, bring in that little lateral raise if you want to with the pendulum. It is optional. You want to rest out the arms. There's a lot of arm work coming up with the next few moves. And squeeze it and squeeze it. You can even bring in some biceps there if you want to. When you're stepping the leg behind you, lift and lift. Excellent work. You can get very inventive with your workouts. Right, I love this one with the weights, so I'm gonna do my nice deep incline. Go up those steps, lean slightly at the waist. Makes the arms feel really powerful here, even with light weights. Take good work. Drive those knees up. Excellent. Okay, now we are into high knee. Knee up. How high can you get your knee without your back leaning too far back? Bicep curls. And like round one, we'll keep that strict form. Lift. Good. Tuck those elbows in. I always like to say that we have little pockets in our waist, in our little exercise tops. We tuck those elbows in. Keep everything nice and safe. Excellent work. Jump rope it. Right, we've got our heel dig jump rope next. Very light from toe to toe here. Keep turning the rope, that's it. Okay, heel dig it. Dig it, dig your heel in gently. Now, nice big circles with the weights. Keeping the elbows pretty close to the body though. That's it, come on, we're doing great. Are you still breathing? Don't hold your breath, it's important we get the air in and out. Well done, that's great, feels so good. Okay, let's go back to our walk and then we have a lateral walk. Sorry, I made a bit of a mistake around one, but you can do whatever, whatever 
you like here you can like I was saying shuffle the whole way okay all right okay let's lateral walk it and shuffle all the way back good or shuffle the whole thing it's up to you what you want to do here if your weights are light enough should be okay and all the way back good work one more and all the way back well done okay back to a walk now we have the jump jump jack sequence Just jump a jack with lateral raise for four, peck deck for four. Come on, bring those knees up. If you're marching it out with me, nice high knees, fast feet. Well done. Okay, jump jack. Four, three, two, one, peck deck it out. Three, two, and one. And repeat it. Lift for two, three, four. Peg deck it. Two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Come on, we can do it. Great chest, shoulder work here. And last one, come on. Two, three, and four. Well done. That was great. Jump rope it again, and we'll get ready for running, man. That's it, good work, come on. Turn that rope for me. Well done. Keep those feet moving nice and fast. Okay, let's get ready for running man now. Okay, forward and back with the feet, forward and back with the arms. Come on, let's be strong with this one. Keep that standing leg working hard. Keep pushing through, I know it feels a little harder round two now. Last few seconds, well done. Okay, good work. Ooh, if you're in that standing leg, nice to kind of release it a little bit. You can move off the spot if you want to, mix it up a little bit for your body. Go forward and back, little steps forward and back. Now we've got the other leg to do for running man. Three seconds, two, one. Okay, let's go with it. Let's get my balance a little bit. Some days my balance feels a lot, not as great as other days. I'm one of those days here. Sit forward and back. Come on, use those arms. Work those biceps, work those shoulders. Keep going, come on. Nice and fast. Get that heart rate up. Well done. Oh, feeling the legs there. I'll do a steep incline walk here. Just mix it up for the body. Now we have our step touch coming next. those knees up. Feel the abdominals working as those knees drive up in front of the body. Just there. Okay, let's get ready now. Step, touch it. Crisscross those arms. Let's all go here now. Lift and lift and lift. Come on. Moving off the spot just helps with your ankle mobility. Mixes it up a little bit for the mind. Feels good too. And there you go. Okay, excellent work. And jump rope. Come on, try and get a good few more, uh, steps in with our jump roping. Now we have our step backs. 
for three and we're gonna do some tricep work with the next one. We've got the biceps in a, good, a bit today, so let's do some triceps. Nice and light on those toes. Good work. Well done. Okay. And three, and switch it around. Two, and three, good, and switch. Now don't just swing your, arm, your arms or your weights behind you there. Take some time now and really contract the back of the arm. Two, you'll feel it so much more. Two, three, good, and switch. And I think we are there, okay. Well done. Right, let's get into that last exercise. It's our sidestep, lateral raise, with bicep curls. All right, I think our arms and shoulders got a good deal of work today. That was great. Less than 10 seconds. That's it, stay strong now. We're just there with today's workout. What a great job we did together. Sidestep, let's do that again. And bicep curl, lateral raise, bicep curl. Get those feet down first and then add the arms if you're confused. Now if you enjoyed today's workout, don't forget to give it a thumbs up below the video. I'll put lots more walks together for you, or walks with weights. If you do, I'd like to add that <laughs> little bit of extra intensity into your workouts. It's a great way to do it. Those cardio workouts and lift and there you go and there's a nice big dumbbell clap for you you did a wonderful job today well done well done okay let's cool down together oh what a lovely lovely job that was today open up that chest we'll keep breathing in and out let the heart rate drop just make your leg moves a little smaller. And this is how we bring our heart rate down rather than just stopping all together. And then it's time to do a few stretches. Okay, so let's interlace the fingers. You can stagger the legs a little bit here. And look forward a little bit to take pressure off your neck and lift those, interlace the fingers and lift those hands behind your back. Don't worry if you can't get too high. Just do what you can here and you'll feel a nice shoulder stretch into the biceps as well. That feels really nice. Hold it a little higher if you can, but don't, don't try and force it. So you should just stretch to the point of my attention and not where you're feeling a little bit discomfort in your nerves. We don't want that. Very good, that feels really nice. Now, open up the legs, reach up, interlace the fingers. Try and open your legs as wide as you can here. And then we're just going to drop down to the front, stretch out that lower back into your hamstrings and your inner thighs. See how wide you can go here. You can get your hands, your palms flat on the floor. You're doing, you're doing good, that's great. But if you can't, just poke on your fingertips. Or hire yourself up onto a little stack of books, exercise mat, towels, just something to raise you up to, just allow you to get into this position. That's great. Let's go over to this side now. Make your way over. Stretching into a little deeper into the inner thighs. Just wiggle around and find those little gnarly bits in the muscles that restrict us from movement. And then back to the middle. Good. Hold it there for a few seconds and then make your way over to the other side. Hands go on the floor. Again, if you can't go onto your palms, just come up onto your fingertips or raise yourself up onto something. The exercise step is really handy for these stretches. If you have an exercise step handy, walk. Do that heel to toe walk. Let's go into those hamstrings. I like doing the hamstring stretch, lifting the toe up off the floor. Press your butt cheek down towards the floor. Good. Feel a nice stretch building up in the back of your leg, your hamstring muscle group. Keep your head up. You don't want to be bending at the waist. Look up 
and find that fixed spot in front of you. Keep staring at it. Excellent, other leg. Drop your hips down, keep your chest up. It's the hips that go down to stretch the lower half. Chest stays up. Well done. And let's do our little interlacing our fingers. Full body stretch here. You can do this lying down on the floor if you want to. It feels really good lying on the mat. Grasp something with your hands behind you, or just get somebody to gently pull your hands, just communicate with them so they don't overstretch. It's lovely if you can get somebody to help you with your stretches. Let's do a little C curve. Reach to one side. This is a lovely stretch, feels really good. Back to the middle, making sure that you're always securing your spine. So never go into a side bend stretch or any stretch really until you've done your little tummy engagement move. Reach across. And come back and because it's a walking workout, I like to stretch out the calves. Stick your bottom out behind you. If you find it difficult doing any floor stretches, just put a chair out in front of you and you hold on to the chair. Or if you want to go lower, step. So we're just going to go down face downwards like in that downward dog and gently press our heels down towards the floor press down don't worry if you can't get your heel to the floor just bring them down towards the floor that's good and feel a nice dynamic stretch on the calf muscle this combined with static calf stretching is really good now press the two down relax your neck Hold that stretch, feels a nice in around the upper half as well, your shoulders in the back. And then bend your knees, walk your hands in and come all the way up. And thank you so much for joining me today. What a lovely walking workout we did. Make sure you hydrate, keep yourselves nice and hydrated, get that fluid back into the muscles to help you recover. And if you want a longer cool down, I'll link one up in the description box below the video and you can continue on. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you soon.